Hello everyone, welcome. Thank you for joining me. In this session, we're gonna focus on using a heavy weight with some basic lower body patterns. We're gonna do some squats and some lunges. I recommend you use a weight that you consider heavy, but not impossible, right? This is about 25 pounds. It is doable, well with my range of capacity, but on the heavier side of what I normally lift. Take your legs wide apart, knees and toes face out. Now, when you're holding whatever you're holding on to, it doesn't have to be weight, it could be anything that's you know enough weight for you. You could think of lifting your elbows up ever so slightly to help you hold on to the weight. So uh, sometimes the weight resting on your body or your torso can be a bit overly fatiguing feeling, where instead of you think of lifting up your elbows and just giving that little bit of effort towards it, the weight does not feel as uh, life-threatening or as unmanageable. Legs wide apart, you're gonna bend your knees, let your body lean forward and push under. And again, I'm lifting my elbows ever so slightly. Easy, hips go back, you lean forward, pushing up nine, take your time. Nice and tall, sit back, lean forward, breathe. Push with control, eight, keep lifting those elbows up. Let your eyes and chest go with the same direction, breathe deeply, seven, so I don't stay looking forward the whole time. As I bend and lean forward, hips back, I change my face and eye line, breathe deeply. Just five more here, take your time. Nice wide stance, easy breathe. Push, five, lift those elbows up ever so slightly. Again, that will really help engage your shoulder girdle. Breathe deeply, four, ever so subtly, but also really you can really feel the difference. Breathe deeply, three, just lifting those elbow points up a little bit. Two more, easy, good everyone. Two, excellent work there. One more time, control. You did really well. Now I'm gonna take this weight to one hand, right? You could have the weight on the side or in front of you, whatever works best for you, or it can start on the side and finish on the front. It's gonna be the same thing. Now the weight's on one side, so as I bend, I've gotta resist the pull of the weight going over. And then return, 10. I'm allowing my arm to go forward, leaning, breathe deeply, as I stand up tall, nine. Take your time. My shoulder goes forward slightly, hips go back, lean forward, push eight. This other arm can just do whatever. Easy breathe, lean forward, sit back. Good arm, push up nice and tall, seven, great. It's really important to lift heavy weights. Breathe deeply, six, all the science uh, points to that. Breathe deeply, easy. And I don't want you to be afraid of lifting weights. Five, because it's very healthy for you. Breathe deeply, four. And I encourage you to not think about the left rest of your life of having to lift weights. Just start with today. Three, try it. Let it become sort of a habit. And you might find that over a few months, if you miss a week or a day or a month, you might discover that I actually missed lifting weights. It is a very foundational and good feeling. All right, other side, same exercise. Hips go back. Lean forward. It's all really incredibly beneficial for your whole body. Breathe. Gently hips back. Lean forward. This is a nice way to approach it. Nine. There is upper body stimulation here. Breathe deeply. And lower body with the weight. Eight. Control. That's really great. Bend. Sit back. Lean forward. And push. Seven. Great for your bone density. Great for your soft tissue fibers. Breathe deeply. Six. And great for your long-term health and well-being. Easy. Breathe. Gently. Five, because even if you never have to lift a weight this heavy in normal life, if you're prepared for it a little bit, you'll be stronger in the long term for all the science seems to point in that direction. I'm not saying the weightlifting is the only thing you need to do. Clearly, three, it's one of many, but I think many people avoid it. Breathe deeply, easy, at least from my experience. Two, one more time, control, sit back, lean forward, sit up nice and tall. You can always hit pause, you can always take a break. Now next we're gonna go to the rack position again, elbows lifting, legs are Closer together, knees face forward. Your toes may not face forward, but the knees are going to, from a profile view. It's similar to what we just did. Bend your knees, sit back, lean forward, push up nice and tall, 10. I'm thinking of lifting my elbows ever so slightly. Easy, just a little lift from under those elbows. Breathe, and push, nine, let your focus go with you. Take your time, gentle, sit back, all the way up tall, eight. And if you're worried about how you're gonna look by lifting weights, Seven, if you don't want to change how you look, don't change what you eat. Breathe deeply. Six, so if you want to lift weights and you're concerned about how that's going to affect your appearance, chances are it won't affect your appearance. Breathe deeply. Four, it will affect your capacity, definitely. You'll be able to move things better. Three, but it's not going to change how you physically look unless you also change your dietary habits and your sleep habits, easy breathe, and your stress levels. One, all right. Now, what tends to happen with a lot of people, let's say, in the past, off to the side, hips go back, you lean forward, 
I hear sometimes, oh, I get really big here quickly. And um, after working with many people, the same person for many years, a few different people like this, easy, breathe. It's been my conclusion is that whatever they were doing, let's say they're working on their shoulder, well, they really felt their shoulder afterwards for a couple of days or a week or just felt their shoulder more consistently than they had used to. Six, and that feeling translates to a visual awareness of that part of their body. Five, where they think that, oh, I'm feeling it more, I'm looking at it more, it must look different. When in fact, four, it looks no different whatsoever. Easy breathe. So there's that. Three, in terms of you're gonna feel your body and that feeling often is translated into if I'm feeling it differently, it must also look different, but that's not actually how it works. Again, unless you've changed your diet. Now, if you added more weightlifting to your life, and you've also changed your diet, that will promote physical change, easy breathe, but most likely not the change that you are uh, maybe concerned about. You're not gonna suddenly blow up like a balloon, not but lifting a little heavier and some more protein and lean, lean proteins and water and vegetables to your diet and less of other things. Easy, breathe gentle, breathe deeply. Six, it's not gonna be a dramatic change at all. Breathe deeply. In fact, you might be surprised, five, by how much you like the feeling of being strong. Breathe deeply, and how it makes you feel about how your body looks, four. Because once you get strong, er, three, and you feel strong, er, in your life, then you look at yourself and how you feel, most likely you're gonna feel better about how you look just because you feel so much better, right? You're so much more capable. Now we're gonna do the same rack position. One leg forward, sorry. One leg forward, other leg back, I'll show two different ways. Legs are hip distance apart, like we practice, but now we have two legs straight to start. All right, I'm starting vertical. I'm gonna go forward and down with the hips, up to return, 10. Good job there. Chest up, eyes up, push those elbows up a little bit. Breathe deeply. Nine, you're doing really well. Control, eyes up, chest up, push those elbows up slightly. Eight, the back heel can lift, but it's only lifting because you're bending the knee. Knees. Seven, hips go forward and down, body stays perpendicular. Six, as you go, try not to lean your body forward. It's not wrong. Five, that's just a different exercise. Forward and down with the hips. Breathe deeply. Four, push those elbows up a little bit. It will really help engage your shoulder girdle. Breathe deeply. Three, to support lifting this weight. Easy, gentle, very nice. Two, one more time, control. You gotta keep your legs like they are. Take the weight whew, to one side, All right? And again, the weight is pulling you forward here, so you gotta really focus on that shoulder girdle not being pulled forward. Same thing, hips go forward. I've not changed my legs. I'm gonna stay with the same leg forward the whole series here. Forward and back, back and down, nine, forward and down, back and up, eight, and I can feel how gravity and the weight are pulling my body forward. Seven, so I really gotta resist that. Try not to also conversely pinch your shoulder blades together behind you. Six, you wanna be nice and wide across the front of your chest as much as you can. Five, and that just takes practice to become aware of that sensation and alignment. Four, great job, eye line stays off the floor. Three, my eyes, my arm, I'm showing you where my eyes are looking directly in front of me. Two, so as I bend, my eye line does lower, but I'm not dropping my chin to my chest. Keep your legs, switch the arms, take a break as you need to. Hips go forward and down, chest up, shoulders wide. 10, take your time, forward and down, breathe deeply. Nine, these leg orientations are the most strengthening, eight, the ones that translate the most directly to normal everyday life. Seven, they're not all the ones that you need, but they are the most typical, the most common. Six, the one that we use the most in my experience. Some variation of these things. Five, keeping your body vertical helps this back thigh, four, to get length and strength at the same time, right? Because people tend to be really constricted through the front of the hip and thigh, knee, shin, and top of the foot. This alignment, too, will help those fibers get long and strong at the same exact time. Now, I'm gonna flip my legs, take the weight over other side, legs hip distance, elbows pushing up the weight slightly, hips go forward and down as I bend, and then return 10, take your time. Again, chest up, eyes up, breathe deeply, nine, keep lifting those elbows, points up, try not to lean forward or back, eight. Hips go forward and down, 
and return seven again. Try not to lean forward here. It's not wrong. Six is just a different exercise. Hips go forward and down. Breathe deeply. Five, keep lifting those elbows up. Take a break. You're doing really well. Four, excellent work. Also, if you're still with me, you can feel, three, how you're actually helping your cardiovascular system to get strong as well. Two, heart and lungs have to work more because of the elevated weight load, right? That's a good thing. Take a break if you need to, right? Body perpendicular, shoulders stay wide, breathe deeply. Nine, again, the back heel is lifting only because the knee is bending. Hips go forward and down, nine. You're doing great, take your time. Chest up, eyes up, breathe deeply. Eight, good work there. Forward and down, breathing, excellent everyone. Seven, chest and shoulders wide, forward, lunging, return. Six, just five more here. Easy, gentle. Five, four more to go. Again, keep that body perpendicular. Four, you're doing a really good job. Nice and vertical. Forward and down. Good, everyone. Three, two more. Chest up, eyes up, shoulders wide. Two, you can always take a break. You don't want anyone's permission to take a break. Just take one. Legs stay. Switch. Last one. Last round goes by so fast. I agree. Hips go forward and down. Back and up. Make sure the hips don't tickle. Tilt over to the side. Forward and down. Back and up tall. Nine. Grow tall. Again, my eye line is where my hand is pointing in front of me. Eight. So as I bend, my eyes go down, but I don't lower my face down. Seven. Take your time. A shifting focus. Six. Because if you look at the same spot when you bend, you're going to lift your neck. Five. Nothing wrong with that. But again, different exercise. Breathe deeply. Four. Here we're trying to keep our, the arch of our neck and the arch of our lower back. Three. Very still. Easy. Two more. Two. One more time. Really good job. And you did great. To put the weight down, you of course bend your knees, bring the hips low, and then stand up. And even that, you can feel how it's easier to bend and straighten in all of these different places, right? Because your body is prepared to lift to your heavier weight. When it's not there, it's so much easier to move. That's one of the best feelings in terms of lifting heavy weights that are a little bit heavier is that it really is quite strengthening for your whole body and it translates directly to the rest of your life. My name is Eric. This is Nucleus Strength. I look forward to getting stronger with you in the future. You always are going to health. Take care.